In this episode of Time to Go Outdoors, we'll test and evaluate the Alpacol T50 12 or 24 volt dual temperature zone 53 quart or 50 liter compressor fridge freezer. What makes this product stand out is the ability to either be a fridge or freezer, but also has the ability to separate into two zones so you can have both at the same time. Other notable features are, the unit has wheels on one side to help move the unit around. The dual use handle provides a comfortable position when rolling the unit around, but can also match the handle on the opposite side when you need to lift the unit evenly. This unit has complete control through a Bluetooth app on your phone. So you can set the temperature levels of each zone, set the unit to normal or eco mode, change the battery protection level, check the temps from the fridge from as much as 30 feet away, or even turn the unit on or off as well as much more. The battery protection system with three settings so the fridge will shut down before it completely drains your car battery so you don't get stranded. There is a USB connector on the top of the unit near the control display area. You can use this to charge your phone or other device such as a USB thermometer like we did. The USB port has a rubber cap to keep dirt or moisture out of the port when you are not using it. On the inside of the unit, there's an LED light that is well placed and just bright enough to see what you're looking for, but not overly bright. What comes in the package is a DC power plug so you can plug the unit into a cigarette lighter in your car or RV, as well as an AC-DC power adapter to run on your house 110 volt outlet. The fridge freezer divider separates the two zones, and when placed, the unit automatically recognizes if it should be in single or dual temperature zones. When in dual zone mode, the right side is a designated freezer. The unit will not allow you to lower the left side zone below the right zone temperature. Inside of the fridge are two removable baskets, one for each assigned zones. The left side or fridge zone is 10.5 inches deep by 9 inches wide and 14 inches tall or 30 quarts. The freezer side is odd shaped and best described as 5 and a quarter inches wide by 10 and a half inches deep and 14 inches tall and 6 inches wide by 10 and a half inches deep and 7 and a half inches tall for a total of just under 22 quarts of usable freezer space. If the unit is used as one zone with the divider removed, you have 53 quarts of usable space. Using the unit on 110 volt power adapter on normal mode, we found the unit reached temperatures in just about one hour on average and used a max of 67 watts of power. Once the unit reached the desired temperatures, it idled at 1.4 watts. One interesting note, the unit brought the fridge side or left side down to temp before starting to cool the right or freezer side. On eco mode, the unit used a max of 39.2 watts or 0.35 amps of 110 volt power. We tested the unit set at 16 degrees to see if it could freeze a half gallon jug of room temperature water. And in just under 11 hours, the jug was frozen solid. In testing, we noticed right away the lid was cool to the touch once the unit reached temperature and was on average five degrees cooler than the room temperature. The safe food temperatures for refrigeration according to the FDA is 40 degrees Fahrenheit or cooler. To see how thermally efficient the unit is in maintaining food safe temperature empty with no food mass, we set the fridge to 39 degrees Fahrenheit at first and then 36 degrees later on, and the freezer set to 16 degrees at first and then 10 degrees later on. For our testing, the ambient temperature was between 73 and 75 degrees. In seven tests with the unit turned off, it took on average 1.5 hours for the internal temps to reach above 40 degrees. The freezer side seeing an average increase of 34 degrees within two hours. This time range will increase with food in the unit, as food mass will help hold the temperatures longer. But all care should be made to make sure that the unit does not go without power for more than 1.5 hours to keep food safe. What are our thoughts on the unit? For $369, this unit is full of features like dual temperature zones, Bluetooth control, wheels for easy transport, and an internal LED light. The unit is very efficient, especially on eco mode, and uses very little power while running, and sips power at idle. With the built-in battery protection with three modes, you can make sure your car will start in the morning. In testing at an ambient temperature of 75 degrees, our 65 amp hour deep cycle lead acid battery ran the unit for four days before it reached 50% capacity. Most lead acid batteries should not be run below 80% capacity. We also used a small nine amp hour battery and the unit ran for three hours to 73% capacity starting at room temperature. If the unit was at temperature before using the small battery, this would last even longer. And having a small battery like this handy may be a great backup while you charge a main battery and keep your food safe. The unit is very quiet during operation and silent when not idle. At one point we heard a rattling sound we thought was coming from the compressor. It turned out that the floor was not low and by simply adjusting the placement the rattle vanished. You may want a rubber pad to place the unit on to avoid this sound. The built-in temperature gauges may be a bit misleading. Our guess is the temp sensors are close to the lid. In testing we placed our remote temperature probes in various places inside of the unit and in some areas the temps were 10 degrees cooler than the unit was showing on the display. You may find items freeze in the fridge area if you set your temperature too low. 
the unit comes with a factor with a 4 degree variance or hysteresis. This allows the unit to reach up to 4 degrees above the set temperature before turning the unit back on. So if you set the temperature to 40 degrees, it will not turn the unit on until it reaches 44 degrees internally. It will turn back off once it reaches 40 degrees. Through the Bluetooth app, you are able to change the hysteresis from 2 to 18 degrees. The lower the number, the more often the unit will turn on and off again to maintain the temperature. I believe the standard 4 degree hysteresis is a good sweet spot because freezing is 32 degrees and food safe temperatures is 40 degrees or lower. If you set the refrigerator temperature to 36 degrees, the unit should never get above 40 degrees and should never reach freezing temperatures in the fridge area. In use, the coldest I saw the freezer get was minus 3 degrees Fahrenheit. At 75 degrees ambient, it takes a good deal of time to get below 10 degrees, but our unit did reach the minus 3 degree range. When in dual zone mode, oftentimes when the freezer is set too low, the temps on the fridge side may drop below freezing, as there is not enough thermal separation from each zone. To prevent this, as well as be more power efficient, I believe a good range for the freezer is 10 to 16 degrees Fahrenheit. When the unit is on, you cannot turn off the display. While this does not draw much power for the longevity of the display, it would be nice to have a self timer or ability in the app to turn off the display. There is a slight concern for the long term durability of the soft touch control buttons as they are easily bumped and there is no built in protection. You should not stack anything on top of the unit. The only big negative we found while testing is the unit is thermally inefficient. It will not hold food safe temperatures very long and certainly not below freezing temperatures without power. Due to how the system works, with the cooling system running on the sides of the unit, some of the cooling is lost to the outside shell. The lid also loses temperature as it is on average 5 degrees cooler than the ambient temperature. An easy fix for the lid for $5, thermal foam cut to shape held by double stick tape. By adding this to the inside of the lid, the lid became more thermally efficient and we did see measurable efficiency in testing. Possibly wrapping the outer shell in thermal blankets may help make the unit more thermally efficient as long as the vents for the compressor are not covered. I did create a thermal cover with Reflectix for the test, but it did not help the unit maintain temperatures at all. We saw no measurable difference at 75 degrees ambient. However, this type of cover does help by reflecting heat and light off the unit in outdoor scenarios or in a car. For $369, I think this is a great unit and a viable option for keeping food cold or even frozen while camping or an emergency power outage. Can this unit run on a single 100 watt solar panel? In our next video, we'll test a Dokio 100 watt 12 volt foldable solar panel. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And it's time to go outdoors.